uh, Legend of the Five Rings. Yeah. Used to be CCG, and they said they're going to end it. Right. Well, Fantasy Flight has picked up the banner and have are now releasing a new LCG version of it. This is actually the other thing I wanted to tell you about that I forgot about. <laughs> now we uh, got it. It's here. But if you've played any of the other LCGs, their competitive ones, this sort of falls in the same kind of banner. They tried to keep you know a lot of the same houses in there, or I think they call them houses. I think clans. Clans. That's what they are. Yes. <laughs> I believe one isn't in there right now, but I'm sure they'll get to it because you know it can only fit so much in a starter set. Right. Uh, and. I think it has some things different. It made, from what I've read, it's made uh, uh, the political, it made it easier to win some of the other ways. It used to be, I think, comp not competitive, uh, being like the war aggressive, aggressive was army. way more likely to win the matches. But this seems to try to balance it out more. Yes, yeah, like I can go into some of the... Right, there is one... I'll yes, wait until go you ahead. No, uh, say, yeah. Okay, the <laughs> one thing that I caught that I uh -huh. read, and this is my sort of red, my alar uh, alarm going off, for me at least. Okay. To get a full playset of every copy of the game, <laughs> a card, in the starter set, you need three. Yeah, no, I definitely, I jotted that down. I was, they, they are not budging on that thing, it seems. Well, that, that yeah, and like the, there's do. a lot of debate around it, which is interesting, because uh, the, apparently, I think the Game of Thrones has a two, I'm not sure. Arkham needs two, and to me, that was actually fine. I think two is, because it also, also Arkham, that expanded. You pretty much then can almost get four people in. Mm -hmm. But three, I feel, and the problem is because Android Netrunner, and I'm a little not as bad on Android because it's older, but that third copies get three copies of, like, three, 11 cards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what, remember what the official one for this is. I think they just said you need three. And that was something that really disappointed me about this. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, I guess from their standpoint, people, if people are still doing it, why not keep doing it? But it is, it feels very cash grabby. It feels very lame that three, like to have to buy three of anything is like, imagine if a, a video game came out and you had to buy three copies of it to have a complete DLC or something. Red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> well, we figured it out. This is, that's where it came from. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but it's, it is a little weird, but we, we can talk about the game, the game it's yeah. itself. Like you were, you were kind of alluding to it's an, the honor system, which is the thing that sounded cool to me. Now, I don't know about the CCG, how much of this came from that. It did have an honor system, something like that. That's why I read like other people. Okay. Like one guy was, it was really funny because there were people were arguing about like, the honor system only won once. And someone's like, yeah, no, it's won a couple more times. And like the people were like posting about who won the tournaments. But and basically stuff. it's, you can draw up to five cards, but for each card, if you draw five and your opponent only draws one, you have to give them four honor. So you have to decide if how much is worth it, which I, seems like a really cool mechanic to me. I, it's, it right. sounds different and from any of the other games. certain houses play on it. Because I know, uh, the one house I remember people talking about was called the Scorpion Clan, not house, Clan. Uh, and it plays on Dishonor. Like, its whole thing is, I'm just going to be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. And it's, that, that's always good. And you've got cool little dials mm -hmm. to mark your honor. <laughs> so, it's, I mean, it's definitely going to be big. Uh, it's cool to see the, how they're using the property so far. I'm curious if they will, if we'll see, like, an RPG to follow or things like that from I them. I mean, yeah, I'm still going to look into it, even though I'm not as big fan of 3Copy. I am willing to proxy, probably, if I need to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and also, the other big reason why I'm willing to look into it, because I showed it to our friend Mark, who's the LCG man. <laughs> And, of course, and his two favorite things in the world are samurai and cowboy. Yes, this is based off of his movies you used to watch as a kid. So, you know, for him, he's just like, I'm in. Yeah. So, like, if we each got a copy, it's a, not as bad if you know someone else and if you're both willing to proxy. Sure, sure. So, I mean, it's not, well, the three thing is like a, makes me disappointed. You know, it's not the worst thing in the it's world. It's not a surprise, I right. guess. I mean, and, well, I should mention one other thing I thought about because uh, Netrunner as we know, started, and Game of Thrones, I believe, is starting for this year, has world championship decks. Mm. And if, let's say, one of those cards you need three copies of have to be that good, it's in a world that it's going to kind of... You might be able to buy the world championship deck and get the copies of the cards with alternate art. So to me, that's why I love those things. You might be able to bypass that with yeah. some cooler cards. It would be nice if they just sold a, a pack of the extra cards they, you someone, I remember that brought up a Netrunner, and they're like, that'd be too expensive for us to do and <laughs> stuff, so that's not going to happen. At any rate, the game will probably be fun. Pretty much all their LCGs are a quality gameplay I mean, experience. I've played most, partly because of Mark, and, and I've enjoyed them. And we've, we've said it before, but... 
you know, it, yeah, buying three copies sucks, but if you compare it to a CCG, you're still saving a lot of money. So Probably. there is that aspect to it as well. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.